President McKinley Shot, a diorama in the strange fates of Lincoln, a portable museum by artist Susan Burku. As soon as Robert Lincoln descended from the train in Buffalo, New York, he was handed a telegram with this shocking news. He was with his family to visit the 1901 Pan American Exposition, the glorious promise of the 20th century. President McKinley Schott shows the Pan American Exposition where the assassination took place. Sumptuous exhibit halls on the 350-acre park dazzled with the wonder of electric lights powered by the nearby Niagara Falls. Inside the domed Temple of Music, the magnificent organ was playing while popular President William McKinley greeted a long line of fairgoers. When he saw the white wrapping on the next person's hand, he thought it was a bandage. Instead, it was a revolver hidden under a handkerchief. Leon Shulgos, a self-described anarchist, shot twice. One bullet entered McKinley's abdomen. As he slumped to the ground, his first thoughts were of his wife, Ida. Be careful how you tell her. Oh, be careful. McKinley conducted his first presidential campaign from his Canton, Ohio front porch rather than compete on the stump with the captivating orator William Jennings Bryan. Though Bryan espoused a populist platform on a whirlwind tour across the country, McKinley won the election with the advantage of an enormous treasure chest provided by his donors. They even built a railroad bringing potential voters to him. This was during the exploding American Industrial Revolution where laborers swarmed from the farms into the factories. However, the country was prosperous in the manner of the rich becoming richer and the workers suffering in abysmal subwage conditions. McKinley advocated the gold standard symbolized by the gold coin on the reverse of the diorama. The gold prospector who supported McKinley renamed Denali Mountain after him. There is no evidence that McKinley showed interest in his namesake, nor visited the mountain. In 2017, President Obama honored the Alaska Native's request and reverted the name to the original Athabascan, translated as the High One. Immediate response to the shooting was a frenzy of sloppy newspaper reporting. When Shulga said that he was influenced by the speeches of known anarchist Emma Goldman, she was arrested and vilified by the press as the High Priestess of Anarchy. After two weeks, she was released for a lack of evidence involving her in the assassination. She would re-emerge in the 1970s as an icon of the feminist movement. McKinley would die eight days after he was shot at the age of 58, having served only six months into his second term. This exhibit in the Strange Fates of Lincoln, a portable museum, was created by artist Susan Burku. First, there is the unusual point of view about the bizarre yet true events that surround Abraham Lincoln and his family. Then, there is the unusual medium, a collection of tabletop dioramas that Susan constructed using recycled cardboard, detailed with her drawings and paintings.